some new developments now in the investigation of the person killed after being pushed onto the subway tracks last night. It follows a series of high-profile attacks in the transit system this year. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports now from East Harlem. A life lost on the tracks at the 125th Street and Lexington Avenue station. Police horses say the 54-year-old victim did not provoke the suspect to push him just before 7 p.m. Monday. The northbound 4 train could not stop in time. This is the victim's neighbor, Sammy Sanchez. He always respected me. He held the door for me, open plenty of times. I just feel so heartbroken. Now charged with murder is 24-year-old Carlton McPherson of the Bronx. The mayor said Tuesday there were six cops in the station at the time. They were present. But when you're dealing with a mental health, severe mental health crisis, or if you want to participate in criminal behavior, we have now reached a point where there are those who are so emboldened by that they can keep doing it. Police sources say McPherson has a history of mental illness. The Bronx DA said he was convicted of assault in 2016 as a teenager. NYPD sources say he has one undocumented, emotionally disturbed person encounter and four prior arrests in September, including burglary, fair evasion in November, and an assault in Bed-Stuy in October, where he allegedly struck a 40-year-old man he did not know with a cane. I have to be aware of my surroundings. It really frightens frightens me because I'm at this station a lot early in the morning and I don't see enough police presence. You take the train, I always like, stay in like, this side of the train because if you don't, then, you, know, you might get pushed. Right? Earlier this month, as part of a subway safety plan, Governor Hochul announced $20 million to add 10 outreach teams to the subways comprised of clinicians alongside police officers. Therapist Antonio Vincent says he's been deployed before. If a cop and a social worker responds, they can triage the situation. Mental health services need to be expanded here. His advice for riders who may feel on edge, if you don't feel safe, listen to that voice and leave. In Harlem, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.